Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to connect the ESP32 to ultrasound sensor. Here, we will connect the ultrasound sensor to ESP32, and this is a Lilligo TFT kit, and we can display the distance in centimeter and inch in the display. So, in this video, we will see about theory of how the ultrasonic sensor works, and second, we will see about the circuit diagram and the wiring information from ESP32 to the ultrasound sensor and then we will see about the demo so requirements for this video tutorial is the breadboard that is optional and some jumper wires and then HCSR04 ultrasound sensor and then ESP32 here in this case I am using ESP32 Lilligo TFT which has an embedded display in it so you can use any ESP32 so here the range of HCSR04 is 2 cm to 400 cm so that can measure anything within this particular range so the sensor has two major pins one is trigger pin and then second one is echo pin here the trigger pin sends the ultrasound and when there is obstacle the sound gets reflected from the obstacle and it reaches back to the echo pin the echo pin gets the total duration that is the total duration in time to send and then time to receive now we need to find the distance from the ultrasound sensor to the obstacle here the medium is air we already know the speed of sound in air which is 340 meter per second or 0.034 centimeter per microsecond so to find the distance the formula is distance equal to the duration here the duration is the time to send plus time to receive into speed of sound since we have uh, the frame and two duration we need to divide this by two now we will see about the timing diagram for SCSR04 first the trigger pin is set to high for 10 microseconds then the device transmits 8 pulses of 40 kilohertz when the echo pin receives the reflected sound here we will get that duration from the time it sent and then time it receives the reflected sound now we will see how to connect the ultrasound sensor to the ESP32 there are four pin in the ultrasound sensor they are VCC, trigger pin, echo pin and then ground pin here connect the 5 volt to the VCC and ground to the ground I am connecting GPIO1 to trigger and then GPIO2 to echo you can connect to any GPIO we need to just make sure we are making a note of this because we need this information when we are coding now open the visual studio code click the platform io in the left tab click the new project the name any name as you wish here i am making this as ultrasonic sensor and board as esp32 iphone s3 iphone dev kit iphone 1 and then the framework is arduino and click finish this will take some time to get the skeleton project in the created skeleton project we can see platform as express if32 and we can able to see the board information which we have entered that is esp32 iphone s3 iphone dev kit c iphone 1 and then the framework is arduino now we need to add the esp iphone e spi dependency to our lib folder i am getting this from the t display s3 repo i already have this in my local so i am just copying from there to this lib folder now we will see how to code this in platform io first we will add the particular dependencies we will start by adding the arduino h next the tftespi.h this is the one which we have copied and pasted in our lib folder next we will create a brand new file this holds the pin config this holds all the pin configuration information for the lcd now we will copy and paste this you can able to find all this code in my repo the link of which i have given in the description next define the speed of sound in air here we will mention this as centimeter per microsecond so that is 0.034 next define centimeter to inch so here if you need to convert centimeter to inch that is 0.393701 next we will create a constant for trigger pin and the echo pin here the trigger pin is 2 and then echo pin is 1 here in this case if you have used a different GPIO pins make sure you are changing it here I will declare three different variables long duration and then distance in centimeter and distance in inch next we need to initialize the 
TFT ESPI. So I am creating object TFT. Next, we need to define a weight. So this is the weight which we are going to use in our loop. So in the setup function, we will define the pin mode. Here the pin power on is set to output and then the digital wire pin power on is set to high. Next, we will initialize a serial communication at a bond rate of 115200. We are going to set the trigger pin to output and then the echo pin to input because we are going to send the high pulse from the trigger pin and the echo pin receives the pulse declaring trigger pin as output and then echo pin as input. Next, we need to make sure we are initializing tft.begin and then we are setting the set rotation to 3. So this is to make sure content displayed in the TFT LCD in a horizontal view rather than a portrait. We will just give the delay as 2000. So once the setup is done, it will go to the loop. In the loop, here we will clear the trigger pin before each and every loop. So here the trigger pin is set to low for 2 microseconds and then we will set the trigger pin to high. This is what we have seen in the timing diagram. So here we are setting the trigger pin to high for 10 microseconds. Now the device will send 840 high kilowatts pulse and then we will set the trigger pin to low after 10 microseconds. Now we will get the duration from the echo pin. Here this echo pin reads the pin result and it gets the total duration. Now we have the total duration, the time to send and time to receive. Now we need to measure the distance in centimeter. To measure the distance in centimeter, use duration into speed of sound in air divided by 2. Now we will convert this distance in centimeter to inch. To do that, distance in centimeter into centimeter to inch, which we have defined as a constant. We will fill the TFT with black and then we will set the text color as gold and here we will use this draw string function this draw string functions takes four parameters first one is a string second one is x coordinates third one is y coordinate and then the fourth one is text size here i will give involved innovation 0 x axis and uh, 4 and the y coordinates and then 2 as the text size next i will define the text color as blue and here I am going to use draw string to print out centimeters. Here this is going to be printed in x coordinate 0, y coordinate 50 and then text size is 2. Here I am using draw string again to print inches and here the x coordinate is 150, y coordinate is 50 and the text size is 2. Here I am going to draw a line. So this draw line takes five parameters. The first parameter is the starting position which is x and y coordinates that is 0 and 80 and then the end point which is x coordinate is 280 and then y coordinate is 80 and then the color of line is yellow. Next I am going to print the result. So here in this case I am marking the text color as cyan and here I am using draw float. So here in this case the draw float takes four parameters. First one is the distance in float value. Second one is the precision point. Here I want to put two precision point and then the third one is x coordinates and the fourth one is y coordinate. And I am using the draw float again to print the distance in inch. I am using two precision point and then 150 is the x coordinate and 100 is the y coordinate. And for each and every loop I am gonna wait for 500 milliseconds. Created this code. We also have the dependency in the loop. Now we will build this application. To build the application, press the tick symbol below. So this will start the project build. This will take some more time. Now the project is successfully built. Now we can upload this build to our ESP32. Before clicking the upload button, you need to make sure you are pressing the boot button in the ESP32 and holding it. Once you are holding it, click the upload button. So this will take some time to upload to ESP32. Once it is done, the ESP32 will automatically restart and we can able to see our output. Here in this case, I am using obstacle and we can able to see with this scale, we can able to correctly measure the centimeter and inch from the sensor to the obstacle. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, share it with your friends. Subscribe for more technical content. Thank you.